Hello and welcome to this unboxing and review of the Hillman PGM 3 meter heavy duty practice cage and net. Um, this is available online from about th two or three uh, suppliers. Uh, the one I've actually bought this from is UK Sports Imports. Um, I ordered this on a Monday and three days later it arrived. It came in two boxes, weighing a total of nearly 30, well, is 30 kilos, 22 on one and nine on the other. So I thought I'd just do a video, because um, I looked online, there's literally nothing about this. I didn't see any kind of reviews or anything like that. Um, it's probably the cheapest golf cage, I think, that that's this size that I've seen. So. Uh, yeah, thought I'd do a review. So anyway, I'm going to open this up. I have already opened this, um, just to make sure the content's there, but I'm going to open it with you. We'll go through that. I'm going to go through this setup as well. It's the first time I've even put it up. So I'm going to build this and uh, yeah, let's we'll see what it's like. So as I said, it comes in uh, two boxes. So we're just going to open up one of these. I've just sort of taped it ineffectively. Um, this is the larger of the two boxes. So this one, as you can see, contains the poles, only the poles. I think there's like 33 in total. Um, the only video online for assembly on this is a couple of guys just putting this all together, but it shows them inserting these, but there's a bit of damage on that one. Um, they're all pre-inserted, inserted, so that's going to help a little bit. So the second box, the lighter of the two, comes with this. So there's some tight, like string or rope, real thin rope. I'm assuming that's going to be to tie uh, the target to. So that's there. I'll chuck that to one side. We've got the instructions or contents, uh, parts list is in there, that's the instructions, I've had a brief look at this, but they're not great to be honest, so I'm just actually going to uh, follow the online video in, well, it takes 46 seconds that video, but I'm going to slow it down, pause it, go through it, clearly that step's already been done for us, which is fantastic, so yeah, I'll have a look at that, cable ties, Entirely sure what these are going to be for. Maybe it's just for um, if you need them in other areas. Because I know this net or the inside netting comes with the uh, velcro straps attached. But shut that down there. So this must be the target impact screen. I will get this out at some point, but for now I'm not going to bother attaching it. Um, but it feels really thick. It's like a proper sort of uh, thick impact screen so nothing's going to be going through that I can tell that just by feeling that through there just shut that down there for now so the netting um, we've got the first this is the in net I believe and you can see here you know it's it's okay it's nylon it's tied so it's not heat sealed um, it's relatively thin so this is like the first inner layer net um, but we'll come into it a little bit more once I get out so that's that one which is quite big shut that down there right now and then in here we've got all the uh, a bag of the corner posts nothing else I have checked this all the contents in there um, we can have a look at the quality of those once I get it up and going and then the rest of it is the meg the the actual net itself on the outside of the cage now this one is far thicker i will do a comparison when i put it up but this one you could definitely tell that's really thick um quite strong netting to be honest once again tied not heat sealed it's a real i'd say that's good quality nothing nothing's going to be uh getting through that although those holes are relatively big but i'm it's nowhere near, you know, a golf ball's not going to squeeze through that. So, let's get on to uh, putting this bad boy up. 
So just a quick update. Um, so I got started. I've done as it's like it said it's, we should do. So I've assembled the seven, uh, three tubes or poles, sorry, and the uh, four to two. I was a little bit worried as I was going through the box. I thought, oh my god, let's hope they got all the right components and not missing anything or the wrong bits in there. But it's all good so far. So yeah, just a quick update. That probably took about. 10 15 minutes, so it's not too bad. All right, hour and 40 minutes later, and I finally completed it. Um, there's a few technical, well, not technical, uh, just messed up a little bit. I forgot to put the internet in um, before I raised it. Plus, some of the poles are around the wrong way, but I'll come into that because you're going to need to know that so you don't make the same mistake. But yeah, it's all done. So let's take a look at it now, and it's actually massive. As you can see, it's pretty good. Um, I'm really pleased with it. You know, you could, this holding really tight, like I said, the whole net inside is one complete net. Um, there's no way a ball's gonna go through that, even if I miss that sort of main net, if you would. Um, I've just worked it out. <laughs> so the Velcro straps, that took forever. It was 132 of them in total. Um, 12 per pole I think so that's probably about wrong but anyway it's a lot it takes a long time and uh, it's going to be much to the disappointment of my wife because we did have every intention of this coming down in the summer months and put back up as of when I need it but it could be done um, but you're talking hour hour and a half and you know even when you get used to it popping it up popping it back down so it's doable it's just going to be a bit of a nightmare but yeah, it's absolutely massive. You know, let's just take another look. You can sort of see the sheer size of this. I haven't got a big garden. Um, so this is sort of dominating the space really uh, in my garden. But, you know, it's now safe. I'm in a built up area. Me and my son and friends, family or whatever can come out here hit any club as well I'm going to be more than confident enough to uh, swing driver or anything really in that even my lofted clubs because even if it misses that inner net it's you know it's only going to hit the outside net so it's not going to go anywhere it's going to keep it all contained safety 10 out of 10 really um, build quality yeah I'm going to say 9 out of 10 on that um, you know, and the, and the net strength as well. You know, you can see, you can see the net itself, the outer net is, I've already showed you that when I was unboxing it, but it's really thick, that is tough. You know, not, nothing's gonna bust through that. Um, and it, even the, you know, the, the inner net, although it is definitely a bit thinner, um, to say the least, but I still feel that's, that's nylon, it's not, that's really tough, you know, that's gonna take considerable amount of force to break through that and I mean it does come with that impact sheet as well um, you know so I may consider um, attaching that at some point but for now it'll do it's really good I'm looking forward to getting in there um, just let you know as well I mean I'm, I'm six foot four you know so I, I'm you will see me use this in the future on some whatever uh, R10 videos if you subscribe to the channel so you'll see you know I can quite freely I can see now I could easily stand within that net um, or just within it which I'm planning on doing and uh, swing any club and gonna be nowhere near to uh, hitting the side of that cage so yeah great net good cage 
uh, back on the uh, poles when you're putting those in really be um, cautious about uh, when you're put, putting those in initially because at the bottom you know at the join in the joints if you would of each of the uh, uh, the cage the corner of the cages you know if you're not if you're not careful um, that'll be the wrong way like the holes and the pins you can't really see it in this but you know then you've got to undo it at the top twist it uh, sort of 45 degrees um, to be able to get it in the right position uh, which was a pain that took up some of the time as well but you just wouldn't know that until you've sort of done it really so not much guidance on that to be honest I'm certainly that uh, 56 second video or whatever it is online doesn't uh, mention that so be aware of that make sure that as best you can really I suppose that the pins are aligned um, but yeah if you've got any questions about this cage um, drop them in the comments down below um, obviously hit a like and all that good stuff and uh, yeah see you later